Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Bitches. Hi, everybody. We are here to talk the secret lives of Mormon wives uh-huh. and also welcome to Plathville. Unfortunately. So if you're listening on the pod, you'll get one episode. If you're watching on YouTube, there's going to be two videos. Yeah. We're going to separate those out for you. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Before we get into it, we do want to issue you a disclaimer, honey. Please hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We say bad words. Uh-huh. We have very dumb opinions especially very. when it comes to these shows i just go crazy yeah i'm expecting too. my husband to bring me in a booze I know. why it's any been 40 minute. minutes now where's my booze where is it i need booze if we're gonna talk about <laughs> olivia plath bitch um what was i saying uh, uh oh yeah so incorrect. if you're sensitive <laughs> <laughs> if you're sensitive you might want to find yourself another dumpster but if you're ready to have cocktails <gasps> and have some fun yeah welcome to this dumpster and if you are ready to have some fun with us, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Reality TV Cringe and join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Reality TV Cringe. That's where all the fun is at. 100%. Oh my God. So much fun. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching on YouTube, can we just ask you a favor? Please subscribe. Cap in hand, like Robin Brown. <laughs> Would you please like and comment subscribe. and share and subscribe. subscribe. Like, please, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 4K. Please. What are we going to do at 4K? I don't know. You know, we're almost at 200 episodes on our actual audio pod. Are you for real, son? Yeah, I think this is like 195. Oh, my God. I don't I think we're going to be next keep week. Track. Yes, anyway, but we'd like to get to 4K on YouTube. Please. And so do your part in helping two beautiful but fat <laughs> raccoons get there. Thank you in advance. Thank you. Okay, Mom Talk. We yeah. are on Season 1, Episode 3. The Book of Saints and Sinners. Okay. Oh, my God. There's a division in the group. There's a line being drawn, Beatrice. A line being drawn between Macy and Whitney and the other two. Jen. Jen and... and Michaela. Michaela, yep. And then Layla, Jesse... Demi, Demi Taylor. and Taylor. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All these women. <laughs> All these... My God. Yes. Mm-hmm. So many. But yeah, so... Taylor's group, sinners, bad Mormons. Okay. Whitney and her group, good Mormons. Good Mormons. That use vibrators. Yeah. Use vibrators and are married to gay husbands. But good Mormons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good Mormons. So that's what's happening because Whitney wants to be the queen bee of mom talk. Taylor's just like, whatever, dude. I don't care. Heavy with child. Literally. Heavy Heavy with with child. child. She don't give a shit. She's trying to wrangle that Dakota with his highlights. With his fentanyl. That metrosexical. Oh my God. Another his, gay guy. His fentanyl and heroin. Somebody came out recently. God, where did I see this? Um, saying, oh, it was somebody who knew the woman he dated before Taylor who said that he was a total piece of shit the entire time and he was strung out on heroin. So not just fentanyl, honey. Oh my God. Shooting up the heroin. Well, same thing. But shooting up that heroin. I mean, look, if I was going to be a drug addict, that would be my drug of choice. Me too. We would have so much fun. <laughs> We'd be nodding off all the time. We almost we on the never streets. never try it. Never. Ever. We literally talk about this all the time. I used to be on Xanax. And yeah. every time you're like, can you go get a prescription for that again? Can I have some though? I mean, what do you think? Can I have one? <laughs> I mean, so some people are like upper people. Oh yeah, we're downers. They like speed. Yeah, some people are downers. We're girl. Give me a benzo. We would end up on intervention. One hundred. We have terrible skin, <laughs> missing teeth, or is that meth? Is that a downer? Oh well, both. I mean, because okay. when you're high on heroin and stuff, yeah. you forget to do any of that. Yeah, sounds like a great life. <laughs> And then we just peace out. <laughs> See you, world. Bye. <laughs> like, at the end of my life, yeah. when I'm ready to catch the bus to my glory. Oh, I'll get you some Dilaudid. Could you please just get me yeah. some morphine? I got you. Dilaudid, girl. Del- I love Dilaudid. Yeah, I'd get you that. Oh That's the good God, stuff girl. right there. I have had Dilaudid. I have had I've had the benefit of yeah. having Dilaudid quite a few times in oh my, my life due to my multiple surgeries and yeah. plastic surgeries and emergency surgeries. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Are you like these bitches on Mom Talk where you go to get surgery just to get the drugs? Oh my God, when they're wheeling <laughs> me into the OR, that's when they normally will give you the happy meds. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is the best day of my life. I might have to have a couple of surgeries oh in the next God. six months. I'm like, all right. You are going to tell them you need oh a lot of, you tell them you're in so much pain yeah. and get the pain meds afterwards. When you come out of surgery yeah. and you're in the recovery and they're like, where's your pain at? I'm always like, 10. <laughs> it's at 10. 
<laughs> give it to so me, baby. Bad. Oh my God. Never drug give me seeking. drugs. Never give me drugs. I'm not a drug seeker. Uh, no, you're I not. I have not had an you're opiate. You're smart enough. I've not had an opiate since 2015, which God is a damn. long fucking time. That is a long time. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I don't mean to judge Dakota because I would totally be him if I could access him. <laughs> is this a terrible conversation? Yeah. It's not true. No, it's not true. But oh my God, I'm like an opiate person and you're like a benzo person. Yeah, I don't like opiates that much because yeah. I'm like, whatever, give me the benzo where I don't I don't even know who I am. Right? <laughs> I love that. I love it. It's great. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, my we're God. We're getting ahead people. of ourselves. We are. We said we were dumb. We gave you a <laughs> warning. Okay. Anyway, but I guess he's also a heroin addict. Wow. This fantastic what a man loser. that taylor is subsidizing and paying for all of his shit and having his kid could never be me no never girl mm-hmm. but we start this episode with michaela whitney and macy hanging out and this is where like whitney's like yeah i didn't show up to the baby shower michaela is calling her out for it she's like this was calculated whitney's acting like it wasn't a big deal even though she knew it was going to be a big deal yeah and Michaela's calling her out in her talking heads, which is interesting because she's kind of Whitney's right hand man over here, mm-hmm. supporting her. And yeah, being but like, why can't you tell her to her face? Yeah, like what? Why are you telling the fuck camera Whitney. seven months from now? Fuck Whitney for oh sure. My God. Who the fuck does she think she is? She thinks she's hot shit. She tried to make Taylor's baby shower all about her by not attending. Yeah, and she kind of did. And she did. And then she acts like it wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't realize that they were gonna care. What do you mean? Of course you did. You were the only one that didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jen throwing Zach, her husband, Affleck. We get to meet this Gary Busey. Oh, my God. (gasps) Oh, my God. How does a young man who I assume is a Gen Z young man or a, a late millennial have the audacity to wear his hair in such a way. He looks like a fucking circus freak. It's an albino bad. circus freak. Look, and he's obviously... Sorry, albino. Is that offensive? I don't know. Who cares? I'm sorry. I'm very... I, I, I apologize. Okay? you got to give me a little bit of grace. I'm older than most people. <laughs> but like a very white... And I'm always ragging on white people. I'm yeah. sorry about that. I'm a white person. I didn't know if you knew that about me. <laughs> <laughs> but let me share that with you. But I, I just... I don't mean it. I'm just awful generally yeah but he's so freakish looking i mean he's very white he has yellow hair he's not attractive <laughs> jen is beautiful comparatively speaking she yeah. needs to wash her hair a little bit it's crazy bit, yeah but like how do you end up with this dude and you're paying for everything well and he's also like this will be later in the season but he's a gambling addict i know he's a he loser gambles her money yes and then he yells at her for it but i loved getting this intro to him because She's throwing him a bat or a graduation, graduation party. Mm-hmm. I said bachelor party, whatever. Graduation party from graduating at BYU. And he's supposed to go to grad school because it's an expectation for him to be successful and to be a surgeon like every man in his family before him. His dad's a fucking heart surgeon. His grandpa was another surgeon. His great grandfather was a surgeon. They're all surgeons. They all make a lot of fucking money. And what is this guy? He's a gambler. Mm -hmm. He goes to BYU, doesn't, I don't think he goes to grad school. I don't think he becomes a surgeon that we know of. he has since relocated to New York to go to medical school. I think Jen is following him. He's going to flunk. He is. He is so going to flunk. And I love to see it. Me too. It's going to be a disappointment. Yeah, because apparently he's a piece of shit. Very much so. Misogynistic. Mm -hmm. One of these guys who wants a porn wife in bed, but wants to judge everybody for having a flask of alcohol in his hot tub. Yep. And also a scary looking individual. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine like walking out <laughs> to get some water in the middle of the night? Everything's dark. You turn the corner and there's Zach it's just like, Affleck. Jesus Christ, demon from the pit of hell. Fluorescent in the background. In the name eyes. of Jesus, I rebuke you, Zach Affleck. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Seriously. Woo. He is fucking bizarre. And his parents are. His the, mom. Oh my God. Also bizarre. Yeah. She oh. was also very scary looking. Uh, yeah. Another person I don't want to meet in the hallway in the middle of the night. <laughs> Night, wearing her Dolce and Gabbana leather pants and like her strange hair. I don't, these people, wow. And they're like ultra strict Mormons and conservatives. So they don't drink, they don't drink caffeine or you tea. You know, Zach drinks. Oh, for sure. You know, he watches porn. And I don't yeah. think Joseph Smith wants him to do that. No, of course not. But he's not telling his parents that. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there is some doctrine about gambling. Right. Maybe we shouldn't gamble, but Probably. he's still doing that. Mm-hmm. But his parents are super strict. So everybody's at this party. 
they go into a hot tub at some point and then i think it's jordan who is jesse's husband jesse is the one who's the hairdresser at jizz hair who <laughs> <laughs> is also fucking with her face and making yep. herself look older than she is of course she's like 31 and i'm like girl you look really old but whatever jordan her husband pulls out a flask in the hot tub <gasps> with vodka and all the good mormon women are like oh my god right a blasphemous you know we don't drink even though you guys totally fucking drink mm-hmm. don't act like you don't drink right just because you're on camera also all these fucking mormon wives like you're married to gay guys you're yep. married to cheaters you're swinging you're totally all swinging mm-hmm. and you're twerking on tiktok selling vibrators right so what are we make are it we make doing? sense make it make sense i don't know what we're doing we're it judging people though sense. because yeah. whitney is a very judgmental person mm-hmm. i don't know where she gets the cojones to do that with her gay husband and everything changing his hairstyle every week which i love and i love gay people but like let's just call him gay because that's what he is but you're pretending he's not gay and you're trying to create a scandal around taylor and everybody else so mm-hmm. that you don't have to admit that he's gay yep so we'll admit it for you. Yeah. That man is gay. Oh, he is so and gay. Uh, which I have no problem with. I think, sure. I think Mormonism has a problem with it. I don't know. Ask Ethel. Do Mormons have a problem with that? Well, Mormons acknowledge homosexuality, but they say you can't act upon it. So you oh, either have thanks. to be celibate or uh-huh. you have to force yourself into a straight marriage. So like it exists and they acknowledge that it exists, but just don't act upon it because it's sinful. So that gives me rage. I know. And I'm not going to go off on a crazy anti-religion yeah. Uh, i want to though tangent i uh, won't yeah but i'm thinking it well maybe we can well we should for patreon but <laughs> i digress um there are people talking about on the internet about whitney and her husband mm-hmm. saying that they're in something called a lavender marriage which i'm not really sure what that is i think it means that she knows he's gay but, and we know he's gay. and we all know he's gay mm-hmm. but she's covering for him kind of like a beard okay. type of thing or the other theory that's floating around is that they're both gay Oh. that she's gay too which i could totally fucking see really because she's got this mean girl energy and a lot of these mean is girls, that a gay thing no 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 like a lot of the mean girls that are like very intimidated by other women and mm-hmm. stuff like that tend to be a little tend to be a little gay tend to be a little bit <laughs> really i yeah, had no idea totally it's like a weird it's like a weird thing i've known a lot of heterosexual mean girls yeah across the board there's probably a game. probably gay. probably had crushes on oh, their friends my god i Girl. had no idea i i don't really see that with her um, I could. But I do definitely <gasps> see the judgment. Oh, Finally. my God. Who's this? We were waiting for you. Hi, mister. <gasps> oh, my God. What Hi, is what that? A crowbar? For me? Oh, my God. You're so handsome. Has anybody ever told you that? Oh, oh my God. Thank you so you much. You are handsome. He has beautiful yeah, eyes, right? He does. Big old beautiful back. eyes, yeah. Look at that butt, too. Don't I'm not going to look your at dad that. Don't you. do it. Thank you. He's my dad. Yeah, bye. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to exploit my own husband. <laughs> I don't care. I'm oh. glad you're happy and in uh, love. You, <laughs> and you always have to say every episode, I'm a sexual being. <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> I don't want to know, but you make me know. <laughs> well, sorry. I'm in a happy marriage. Look, I'm glad. Jesus. That's great. Anyway, what Crucify were we talking me. about? Um, Whitney's unhappy yeah, marriage. Yeah, when you sang to a gay guy. To you, everyone's bisexual and or gay. There's, well, It's always a gay conspiracy, but I'm is. on board. I'm okay with that. I mean, I could just, I could just see it. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Whitney strikes me as like the pudgiest girl in the group who has like, <laughs> she is, like objectively, <laughs> I which mean, is fine. I mean, it's not like I'm not pudgy myself, but mm-hmm. like she's the pudgiest girl in a group of tens sure utah yeah. tens yeah okay these are beautiful girls in utah mm-hmm. and she's a little heavy and she's twerking on tiktok with her dying baby <laughs> she has mental illness issues uh-huh. and so she's trying to overcompensate by judging other people for being way hotter and better than her yeah true and she's under this facade of mormonism being like yeah i'm so great because i don't drink tea and i don't drink caffeine are you wearing your mormon underwear i don't think so yeah i I don't see your swimsuit can they wear do they have to wear mormon underwear in the hot tub no ethel said that you don't have to wear your mormon underwear during sex showering swimming and there was another sweating sweating that's right yeah Okay. There's the four S's. Okay, got it. That's why. But Mormon underwear, we were talking about it last episode. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's booty it's shorts. It's shorts. It's really no. cute. No, honey. It's a two-piece They're, thing. It's long underwear. Yeah. yeah. It's a long underwear and a shirt. Yeah. And the men have to wear the shirt, too. Yikes. Which is weird. <laughs> we're like, not whatever. judging you, though. I am. Mormons. <laughs> a little bit. 
<laughs> but that's what it's like. You guys are trying to claim that you are good Mormons and you're following all the rules, but then you're not wearing the Mormon underwear. You're walking around in a skimpy ass bikini. Right. Or like just the outfits that you wear to your various events. You and couldn't twerking. possibly be wearing long underwear no. underneath that mini skirt, biatch. Absolutely not. Uh, so anyway, after the whole hot tub fiasco, this is kind of where the group officially splits off mm-hmm. because the good Mormon ladies are like, oh my God, a shot of vodka. Shocking. That's terrible. He we can't vodka. be associated with these people because we're worried about mom talk's reputation. Right. <laughs> what You'll are you talking it. about? Yeah, I don't know. Like what, what reputation? Twerking? Swinging. On TikTok and swinging? Whoring. Yeah. And covering for your porn addicted husband, yep. Whitney. Yep. God. And then we have Macy, Michaela, Whitney, and Jen going to get Botox, but they're really just doing that just so they can get high on nitrous. Which is wild. I, love I have nitrous. never heard of that. Well, I, I don't like nitrous personally. Oh, we'll get to that because we are drug seeking yeah. in this episode. <laughs> but um, I've had nitrous before. I would never imagine that you would want to do nitrous while getting needles stuck in your forehead for which you have to be still. Like when they ask you to smile and they're trying to get the Botox into your crinkles or into your bunny lines. Like you don't want to be laughing. True. Yeah. I thought it was weird that they gave that for Botox. Yeah. Because... I always get that at the dentist, but mm-hmm. I'm always asking for that shit. Yeah. I'm like, I would totally do whippets. <laughs> you know, they're doing that now. Like they're making commercial whippets for kids, but they're making it like what? 20 times the strength or what? whatever. And these kids are like doing them because like whippets used to just be those whipped cream canisters. Like the ready whip? Yeah. Okay. Like you take the whip, the whipped cream canister and you huff it mm-hmm. and it's like a couple milligrams of of nitrous Mm -hmm. and you get a little funky feeling uh, and it's fun but now Mm -hmm. they make it so bad that kids are doing it they'll take one puff and they'll fucking pass out who's making it i don't know this one company what like it's it's a commercial enterprise not a a cartel asmongold on youtube he's a video game uh commentator whatever he talks about current stuff but he talked about it he made a whole video and it's like bad they're like advertising it as um like food products but these kids are buying it because they're whippets and they're just doing it. on. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Galaxy Gas. That's what it's called. Galaxy Gas. Galaxy Gas. Interesting. And that, scary. Uh, yeah. Well, because nitrous kills your brain cells. That's right. why it's so great. <laughs> that's why I like it. <laughs> that's how it improves your life because yeah. you're not conscious anymore. It's fantastic. Anyway, I just thought it was very strange that they were getting nitrous for Botox, but mm-hmm. they seem to be having a good time and... Well, they only get it for the drugs. So I'm like, you're talking about being good Mormons, but then you're going to get high doing drugs. Nitrous. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, whatever. And then this is where Jen invites the good Mormon ladies to her Luca's baby's blessing or something. Right. And she's like, I'm not going to invite the bad women because I don't want the bad energy. And like, I want to please Mormon God on Kolob. Although she already invited the bad women. Well, yep. in specific, she invited Demi and Jesse and mm-hmm. even told them the day and the time they put it in their calendar. They are expecting to go, but nope, she's yep. going to have to uninvite them. And they call their, call her out on that because they're going to get their hair done at jizz hair and this is where they're talking about the baby blessing which is like in two days and Demi, i guess was told by somebody oh like you're not actually invited who cares so they call jen on facetime at the jizz hair salon and jen's like oh yeah like um i just you know don't feel comfortable with you guys there because of zach because zach doesn't know you guys very well and doesn't know your husband so that's why you're not going to be invited shady yeah. It was very shady, and I think Demi and Jesse were hurt by it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course they would What are you going to do? I wouldn't want to go anyway with that weird-ass Zach Affleck. Girl. Affleck. And that weird baby blessing where only the men can do it because they only have the priesthood. Only men have the priesthood. Like all good religions, Uh men are in charge. It's the patriarchy. Of course. Women, you just sit down there. Look pretty. Yep. Be porn stars for your men. Thank you. And then we have Demi hosting her Galentine's event at her house. She's trying to be a, the bigger person and she invites everybody to the Galentine's because she's trying to unite the group. And this is where Whitney has the bright idea to not only pull a prank on Demi, but tell everybody on camera <laughs> what this very private secret was between Demi and her husband involving Fruity Pebbles she doesn't outright say what it is but what is it 
it's i don't know urban dictionary says it's something where you put the fruity pebbles in the ass and then, in the ass yeah and then you like eat Not it out the of punani? there yeah i don't know girl <gasps> and people are nasty yeah that's true but i think what whitney was reenacting for the girls when she was telling her about the telling them about the prank mm-hmm. was that demi put fruity pebbles on her punani mm-hmm. and then her husband licked it off of her i'm getting hot Ew! <laughs> is disgusting oh, excuse me. i'm just thinking things right now ew just thinking about some wondering where my husband please is. stop <laughs> it right now <laughs> i can't no and also yeast infection ew i mean ph balance why are you putting fruity pebbles down you there you shouldn't do that artificial colors and stuff that's bad for you it is very bad for you <laughs> maybe she had a good time but it sounds like it's something that happened that she shared with whitney but she made Whitney promise not to tell anybody because her and her husband had promised each other never to speak a word of this to anybody. Yeah. Well, then she told Whitney and now Whitney is reenacting it. Yep. On camera. <laughs> On camera in a dress without underwear. Yep. Reenacting what must have happened when Demi put those fruity pebbles in her orifices. Yep. Yep. And then she packs a box full of fruity pebbles in a gift box and is bringing that over to Galentine's and then gives this to Demi and is like, yeah, I have a gift for you. And Demi thinks it's very sweet and wholesome. Oh my God. Wow, thank you so much. You, this is so thoughtful. You didn't have to do that. Opens it up and immediately is like, are you fucking serious? And Whitney's laughing, like just hysterical laughing. And she's got all of her goons laughing mm-hmm. for her. Total mean girl energy. I hated that. Well, sidebar, Yeah, I listened to part of an interview that Whitney gave, I think, last week, so very recently, in which she says that the reason she got mad is because she had actually talked to Demi before the Galentine's party and told Demi what she was going to do for the cameras. And during the conversation, which again happened before the party, Demi was like, oh my God, that would be so funny. Do it what whitney felt set up and if whitney's telling the truth well she was set up oh but do we believe her with that though because in the moment she's like i feel ambushed yeah i feel ambushed every other narcissist like they do something abusive to you and Mm -hmm. then you have a normal reaction to that abuse and then they get mad that you're mad at them yeah like for having a valid reaction i don't know i kind of did believe whitney a little Mm. bit and i do think that Demi has some of that shady aspect to her, but I don't know. I don't know. I was talking to my friend Allie who suggested we watch this show. Hi, mm-hmm. Allie. Hi, Allie. Um, she was saying she loves Demi throughout the whole season. She's okay. like, she's really great. I like her too. I like her too. I don't know if I trust Whitney because, I mean, you're twerking Fair. in the hospital when your kid's dying of RSV. Fair. Like, what, what kind of person are you? Sure. So, but, I mean, I could also see a world where this happens because this is kind of like a Housewives type yes. of vibe of show where, like, all of the bitches are fake and all of them are, you know, Trying to manufacture drama. content and moments and yeah. such. Yeah. So I could see both sides of it. Me too. But I hate Whitney, though. Also. Oh, I do as well. I think she's terrible. Her stank face just oh sitting God. on the couch. She's so pissed. Ugh. How dare anybody get be upset. upset with Ugh. me? Well, because you're terrible. Yeah. And your haircut is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Really she has some contour like just some color Girl. in her face she looks like a corpse yeah corpse bride <laughs> kind of like zach Affleck. yes <laughs> they'd make a great pair translucent people yes and then we have the day of luca's baby blessing uh-huh. where only the saints are invited Ow. and they have their best their sunday bests on where meanwhile the sinners are out bowling on the sabbath yeah they're like i don't give a fuck and we have some stupid speeches by Whitney for some reason. Well, she's a good Mormon. Yeah. She's talking about their father in heaven, Ugh. blessing this child, Luca. Puke. And then we have only the men giving the blessing because, again, they are. Are only... you going to bless your child when you have a child? Are you going to take it to a church or something like that? Are Should you gonna I? Have me do it? I don't know. I'm not blessed. I never was baptized. You weren't baptized? No. Oh, girl. I was not. I had Sheesh. the opportunity, but I was afraid to go underwater. Oh, yeah. little sweet pea. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, should I? I don't know. Oh my God. I mean, we're not part of a church. Where no, would we not. go? I don't we know. We could make our own church. We could. I mean, you want to be- bless our baby? I would definitely bless your baby. We could um, baptize it in your uh, koi pond out there. <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> no one. She has this pool out there. Your baby will get a brain eating amoeba. I'm... We don't want that for your baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's a long story. Yeah. Let's go uncensored. Okay. Okay. We are back from uncensored. <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> 
We're back from Uncensored, by the way. If you want to hear our Uncensored bits, you got to subscribe to us on Patreon, honey. Yeah. Patreon.com slash reality TV cringe. Where were we? Um, Baby blessing. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Whitney. Yeah. Getting up like the saint that she is and giving and some praying. sort of the consecration yeah. of the child and then yeah. all the weird beta looking men getting in a circle and praying for that child i can't while the other women were bowling yep and talking shit oh yeah for sure there's a clear division yep and then the preview for next episode is they're gonna have a trip for i think macy's birthday yeah they're gonna have a getaway a two-day trip totally like a housewife's thing Mm -hmm. they're all gonna be in the same house together and they're gonna be fighting and i love that drama i love it there's gonna be some confrontations Mm. and there's gonna be some drama and i want to see it i want it all right are you ready to get into welcome to plathville oh i guess okay so if you're listening on the pod keep listening if you're watching on youtube there will be another video in Mm -hmm. about an hour so check back babes thanks Uh